Jaren, is that you? Not exactly. Adam? Oh my god, Adam! It's you. You're hurt. What happened? What happened to you? I risked my life for you, Megan. I came halfway around the world, and for what? It's not what you think. Are you part of this? No! No, Adam, I swear it! The kidnapping was real. The attack on Seraph Industries, they came after me. They wanted my research. And when did you decide they could have it? It didn't happen like that. I wanted to tell you, but I couldn't. I couldn't! And then David said we had to use it. We owed it to mankind. David? What are you talking about? My great discovery. The genetic framework I found that makes it easier for living tissue to bond with implants. I found it. In you, Adam. I used your DNA. I wanted to tell you, I swear. But David convinced me what it could mean for mankind. How much better off we could all be. It took you to make me see how wrong I was. Hugh? Hugh Darrow. He owns this facility. After Namir brought us here... Richard! Patch me into Seraph, now! Adam, please! He was only pretending to work with Tai Young and the others. He found out what they were planning to do and told them he would help. But only to make sure they never succeeded. Their control signal won't work. Thank you, David. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Seraph here has asked me to show the world how human enhancement technology can change it. After careful deliberation, I've decided I must do exactly that. Forgive me. Oh god. He's modified the control signal. Anyone with the new biochip will be affected. Hugh never said anything about this. I'm going back for the scientists. No, Adam! I know the complex better than you. I'll find them. There's a hangar bay through there. Get to its control room and retract the roof. Clear a path for us. Jensen, what the hell's going on out there? Broadcast frequencies are going haywire. Malik, is that you? Where are you? Coming into visual range of Singapore now. Been in the air since Pritchard first pinged you. Good timing. I'm heading for a hangar bay to open the roof. I'll need an emergency extraction. Roger that. I'm on my way. Hey, Jensen! Looks like you could use some help! I see the scientist, Jensen. I'm landing nearby. And I think... Dr. Reed wants to speak to you. Hang on. Hello? Adam? We're all fine, but you have to get to Panchea and stop Hugh. You and I aren't done with this, Megan. I know how it looks. But you have to stop the broadcast. 
I think it's causing the new biochips to overstimulate the vagus nerve, creating terrifying hallucinations. You mean it's driving augmented people insane? Yes, and it's up to you to stop it. Use the Leo shuttle. It will take you to Panchea. Good luck, Adam. <laughs> Access granted. Automated systems online. Darrow sequence one, code one, one A, preset and ready to engage. Suborbital trajectory plotted. Destination, Panchea. Begin countdown, Mr. Darrow. Begin countdown. Code, zero, zero, zero. Confirm, zero. Countdown commencing. Jensen. Jensen, can you read me? Barely. I've reached Panchea, Pritchard. Any word from Sarah for the UN delegates? Nothing. The installation went into lockdown shortly after Darrow gave his speech. I can't tell if anyone's even alive. And the signal's still broadcasting. Meaning no one's safe till I get in there and shut it down. You'll have to disengage the lockdown first. Look for a master control panel at the top of the tower.
Pritchard, Francais' broadcast center is at the base of the station near the bottom of the ocean. Is that right? But the lockdown caused all the blast doors to seal. You won't be able to go down until you override the manually. From up in the tower. I got it. I don't think you want to do that, Mr. Jensen. Disengage lockdown, and whatever demons this station contains are likely to come crashing out on us. Afraid to die, Darrow? Or just unwilling to face what you've done? Oh, I know what I've done, believe me. I take no pleasure in it. And yet you still did it. I did what had to be done. Twenty years ago, I gave the world augmentation technology. I thought I was giving it a bright future, but instead I gave it the means to destroy itself. No law, no UN regulation was going to fix that. People are dying out there. Hundreds of thousands of people driven to the brink of insanity because of you. I had to convince the world. Before today, people believed we should steal fire from the gods and redesign human nature. But human nature is the only thing we have that gives us a moral compass and the social skills we need to live in peace. You destroy it, and you destroy our very species. Don't paint yourself a savior in this. What you're doing is insane. Is it? When this is done, the Illuminati won't be able to control men and women like you as they had planned from the inside out. No one will be able to use the technology I invented to make others into beings they desire. Something we both know has happened already. I think you're Frankenstein. Killing his own monster. Actually, Mr. Jensen, I prefer to think of myself as Daedalus, watching helplessly as his child crashes into the sea. I'm ending this. Now. You can't. 
The signal is being generated from the broadcast center at the base of this facility. Panchea's security system has been programmed to protect it, and will kill you before you even get close. You designed that system, Darrow. You can tell me how to shut it down. But I won't. You think what I'm doing is extreme. You simply don't understand. For humanity to survive beyond this century, it must abandon ill-conceived notions about transcendence and embrace change. But for that to happen, the hard lesson must be learned. Blood must be shed. Dara, please, think of the individuals you're hurting. Innocent women and children, some of whom had no choice when they got augmented. Every second that signal continues to broadcast, more of them will die. Help me stop this, please. You think to sway me by forcing me to consider the individuals? I created something magnificent and watched it turn to ashes. And the lesson I learned from my suffering is exactly the lesson that's in play here. A single human being can be considered a reasonable entity. But a mob, a nation, an entire world? Sociological studies have proven time and time again that groups react like packs of animals, driven by anger and fear. Those emotions are the only means through which they can comprehend their danger. Pain is the one reality the world will understand. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're wrong. None of it matters, because this is what will happen now. After today, whatever you say will be dismissed as the ravings of a mass murderer. You were one of the greatest minds of our time, and tomorrow you'll be nothing but a killer. Ravings of a mass murderer? When the truth is revealed, when people know why I did this, surely they will understand. It was my genius that created the technology. My vision that seduced Zarif and Zhao and all the others who now feed off of it. They seek to stand on the shoulders of my research without comprehending the danger that people like you pose to mankind. I am the only one with the perspective, the insight, to know what is needed. You know, I've always wondered about that leg brace of yours. Why the father of augmentation doesn't have the most basic of implants. Doesn't make much sense, really. Unless he's one of the few people genetically incompatible with this technology. Huh. Gotta love the irony in that. It's the kind of irony that can tear you up inside, bit by bit, every day, until you find yourself despising what you're not. How dare you? You think I've done all this because... Because a fluke of nature robbed me of my chance to become a part of it? I tried everything, damn you! Everything I could think of to change! None of it worked! None of it! So you had to fix it, didn't you? Take back control, make it like it never was. Yes! Yes, that's exactly what I... What I... I... What have I done? Give me the codes, Daryl. Help me stop this. You'll still be in danger. Panchea's security system, much of it is self-determining and lethal. But if you succeed, if these codes help you turn off the system and reach the broadcast center, tell the world exactly why I did it. Explain to them about the Illuminati, the biochip. Panchea, help them understand that the technology I created will not be a future any one of us desires. Put that away.
Richard. The lockdown's disengaged. I'm heading back to the hangar to see if those blast doors are open. Have you been able to raise anyone? I'm picking up several glimmers, but there's too much interference. I... I think you're... on your own, Jensen. Careful there, Francis. You almost sound like you regret that.
this is William Taggart. If anyone out there is listening, I'm begging you, help. We've barricaded ourselves inside the core server room. Many of us are wounded. Please, save us. Please, save us. No, 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 no. It'll be much easier this way! Access grant. Access granted. Mr. Jensen, please. Please put the weapon away. You won't need it. Mr. Jensen, how ironic that you should be the one to save us from the monsters out there. Monsters, Taggart? You mean people. Augmented people who've lost all control, lost their reason. Isn't that supposed to be my line? Unfortunately, it seems your esteemed Mr. Darrow decided to appropriate my point and turn it back on me. In madness and in blood. He has betrayed us all. So you finally admit it. You are part of this, after all. You have been all along. It would be pointless to deny anything now, but... Despite what you think of us, we never wanted augmentations outlawed. All we've ever sought is regulation, rules governing how the technology is developed, and laws that ensure its use for the good of society. You've raised society above humanity. So who gets to make those rules? Men with wisdom, strength, and tenacity to know what's right. Proven leaders who distinguish themselves like, like you, Mr. Jensen. You've certainly earned the right to be one of us. All you have to do is take it. 
I'm not looking for glory, Taggart. Just remember that without control, there's no room for freedom, only anarchy. You were a policeman once. You know the importance of order. I know there's a difference between order and slavery. The biochip wasn't supposed to force people to do anything. It merely limited power so that people couldn't go on killing sprees like the ones taking place right now. Amazing how well that worked out. Say what you will, but I know that some part of you agrees with me. Absolute freedom is no different than absolute chaos. Society needs boundaries if it has any hope of surviving. And you, Mr. Jensen, can be the one to give us that hope. Shut down Darrow's signal. Then help me get a message out saying that an accident at VersaLife contaminated the world's neuropocene supply. VersaLife? And what if I decided to blame the Illuminati? The Illuminati is just a name to get rich financiers to invest more money. Besides, do you really think the world will believe in some 18th century conspiracy theory? Do this for us, and you'll ensure a future for mankind, all of mankind, augmented or otherwise. The future Hugh Darrow offers doesn't allow for both. Let me think about it. 